you guys are really us. What number are we thinking of? 69, dude! <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Christmas? You guys can see today we're in the gray hat like usual. And I also have this black tank top again with this guy. Hey, it's me, Chris, aka King of the Tears, aka Bill Different, aka HMB, writing himself with the blessing of the guy your mom is always talking about. I give her a little bit up. A little bit up. All that good stuff. Don't worry about it. And today we are going to be doing something that's considered the hardest task on this planet, which is watch a movie. Wow, but what movie are we watching? We're gonna be watching Bill and Ted's excellent adventure. I think it's gonna be fun to watch Keanu doing something different because I've always seen most of. His I'm used to films. seeing Keanu Reeves just kicking ass constantly. That's yeah. what I'm used to. I'm not used to him being a ha -ha, funny guy kind of dude you know what i mean exactly exactly that and i also want to say not only is bill and ted excellent but the people on the patreon are also excellent human beings and then we have those of you who to the channel at this very moment you guys are also oh my god so excellent it's incredible hey man you're feeling it too a little too hard That's what actually. i'm talking about man and then we have those of you who are not subbed to the channel at this very moment oh you're not excellent you're losers! No. You're idiots! No. Worse than worse, so if you don't want to be a dumbo, an idiot, a stupido, whatever the hell you want to call it, sub to the channel right now. No longer are you intellectually challenged. You will have a brain. Your brain will be very wrinkly and voluptuous. Your IQ will literally go up a couple of points for subbing, and that is a fact. And don't think unsubbing and subbing increases the IQ further. No, no it's a, no. a one-time kind of deal. If you do that, you lose it and just gain it back. Yeah, it just doesn't work that way, buddy. No, don't think you can do that, you okay? can't cheat the system. Ah! Hi. Welcome hey. to the future. Thanks. San Dimas, California, 2688. And I'm telling you, it's great here. The air is clean, the oh. water's clean. Nice. Even the dirt is clean in california bowling averages Impressive. are way up mini golf scores are way down perfect and we have more excellent water slides than any other planet we communicate with sick I'm we're winning you, this place is great but it almost wasn't <gasps> you see 700 years ago the two great ones ran into a few problems so now i have to travel back Wild in time stallions. to help them out <laughs> i'm bill s preston esquire and i'm ted Di Oh, Bill. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my god, they're idiots. And I'm Ted Theodore Logan. Yeah! yeah. Wild Stallion! Yo. That's, that's a cool name. That's actually a sick name. While I agree that in time our band will be most triumphant, the truth is, oh. most triumphant. We'll never be a super band until we have Eddie Van Halen on guitar. <laughs> True! <laughs> True. It's pointless to have a triumphant video before we even have decent instruments. Well, how can we have decent instruments if we don't really even know how to play? <laughs> we need Eddie Van Halen. And that is why we need a triumphant video. Excellent! Oh, oh, a little air guitar. Uh, we're late. For what? For school, dude. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who cares, man? Such idiots. Oh, my God. Why go to school when you can make music? True. Music's always better. Bill? He's dead? <laughs> what the? So, Bill, what you're telling me, essentially, is that Napoleon was a short, dead dude. <laughs> He's not wrong. You totally blew it, dude. Ted, stand up. Who was Joan of Arc? Noah's wife? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Mr. Ryan, my distinguished colleague Ted and I wish to express to you our thanks for all the things we have learned in your class. And what have you learned? Oh. We've learned that the world has a great history. Yes, and that it's so thanks to great leaders such as Genghis Khan, Joan of Arc, and Socratic <laughs> Method, the world is full of history. Yeah. Genghis Khan is a great leader. <laughs> He definitely spread a lot of history. Now, unless you get an A-plus on your final oral report tomorrow, Whoa. I have no choice but to flunk the both of you. Does he have, like, a drawn-on horse on his shirt? Yeah, it's a, and he <laughs> even has his name on the... I just noticed that it looks so goofy. <laughs> Want a ride? Sure, Missy. I mean, Mom. 
Step bombs. Q. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. Ted oh. knows what's up. Let's go. What are you doing home, Dad? I'm looking for my keys. I spoke to your principal today, Ted. He said you're failing history. Me and Bill. He also said that if you fail history, you flunk out of school. You know what that would mean, don't you, Ted? That I would have to go to Oates Military Academy. Oh, no. I mean, a military school. Where? Alaska. What? Whoa! Alaska? Why Alaska? Had wooden teeth, chased Moby Dick. <laughs> chased Moby Dick? <laughs> <laughs> nice. Hi. Brought you guys some food. Cool! What do we got, Missy? What's she cooking? Hey, yo! Hey, yo! How's it going, guys? Yeah, <laughs> he killed the mood. You're destined to flunk most egregiously tomorrow. Egregiously? I'm Good destined word. to end up at Oates Military Academy. Hey, yo, Dad! And then we will never start a band. Good. Whoa! Hey, yo! I study History. Why don't you guys take a dinner break? Oh. oh, take a break. I see. Oh, no. Oh. Wait, in their bedroom? What? Yo, I gotta also say it. She burnt the hell out of that grilled cheese. Yeah, I don't think he's with her because she's burning food, my guy. It's cute, though. Shut up, Ted. Yeah, you know Ted. Her to the prom? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> The lady in that car over there said that Marco Polo was in the year 1275. It's not just a nice. Knew it. <laughs> Excuse me. When did the Mongols rule China? <laughs> I don't know. I just work here. <laughs> That's so, <it's> so random. <laughs> I gotta try that out one day. Oh my god. Whoa! Oh! Oh, damn! Greetings, my excellent friend. Do you know when the Mongols ruled China? <laughs> wow. Perhaps we could ask them. Whoa! Oh. What? Bill S. Preston Esquire and Ted Theodore Logan. Whoa. I'm here to help you with your history report. Ted's got three first names? He does, dude. Dudes, you guys are gonna go back in time. Yeah! We didn't believe it either when we were you, and we us said what we us are saying right now. Okay, well, <gasps> if you guys are really us, what number are we thinking of? 69, dude! <laughs> <laughs> of course! <laughs> <laughs> no, look, we've got it. <laughs> and Ted, give my love to the princesses, who you'll see. Hey, yo! Whoa! You and I have witnessed many things, but nothing. As bodacious as what just happened. Bodacious? Well, we told ourselves to listen to this guy. What if we were lying? <laughs> <laughs> Why would we lie to ourselves? Dude, that, was, no, that was profoundly deep. Really Why would was. we lie to ourselves? <laughs> Gentlemen, we're history. Okay, that he, was kind of cool. He had to do it. Damn, that was kind of hard. We're history. Where are we now? Or should I say, when are we? <laughs> <laughs> it's so stupid. Oh, sorry. <laughs> when <laughs> are we? <laughs> it was so bad. Austria, 1805. The French have just invaded. Oh, oh. like the French can fight? He's not so dead now. But he is little. He goes. <laughs> Just blow him up. Oh! Oh, damn! He got dragged in? Whoa, when are we now? Catching on, isn't it? <laughs> Gentlemen, you can do anything you want, as long as you remember this. No matter what happens, you must get to that report. Got it? All right, amigos. All right. That book will give you the number of any place you want to go. Cool. Now, most important, no matter what you do, no matter where you go, that clock, the clock in San Dimas, is always running. Aren't you coming with us? Gentlemen, you're on your own. Oh, oh no. Why is Rufus so cool? I think it's the trench coat. Maybe. Trench coats are sick. He's got that Matrix vibe. Dad, it's Napoleon. 
short dead dude from our history review. <laughs> Grab his legs, we gotta get him inside. Oh, nice. We're gonna kidnap Napoleon? Well, we got one historical figure here. Maybe we can go back and get some more. Wait, we're gonna capture the historical figures? His name is Napoleon. He is a very famous French dude. It's some money. Take Ooh, to the money! Or <laughs> Taking Napoleon to the movies? Okay, we got Sigmund Freud, Beethoven. <laughs> Beethoven! <laughs> They can't even pronounce their names. Oh, man. Uh, they're doing their best. They're doing their best. Oh, New Mexico. Okay. How's it going, Old West dude? <laughs> <laughs> old West dude. Two beers, please. He didn't even card us, dude. Yeah, we have to remember this place. Billy the Kid. Oh. oh. I need two men. Who's with me? We're with you, Billy the Kid. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Ted looks like he's having so much fun. Whoa, three aces. Are you cheating us, kid? Wait, what? Oh, okay. Uh... I thought we were going to play some cards! I mean, this is a lot better than cards. Oh! 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 <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> How would you gentlemen like free passes to Waterloo's home of excellent water slides? <laughs> <laughs> it's a good year blimp! Huh? Whoa! Oh, oh shit! shit. His toes! You guys saved my life. Nothing doing, Billy the Kid. Where are we going? The golden age of civilization. Where? Ancient Greece, dude. Don't Ancient worry. Greece? <laughs> Socrates, the only true wisdom consists in knowing that you know nothing. That's us, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's get him. How's it going? <laughs> I'm Bill. This is Ted. Socrates. All we are is dust in the wind, dude. Nice. Dust. Wind. Oh. Oh. <laughs> 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 oh. <laughs> the hell? They philosophized, my dude. They did it. He's having a panic attack. Not bad, eh, Socrates? <laughs> so great. Must be the castle of King Henry. Billy, guard the booth. And watch so great. <laughs> Who should we get from medieval? Who's that boy catch with so great? How about that gnarly old goat dude? Dead. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Bill, those are historical babes. <laughs> <laughs> True. How are we gonna meet them? These are heavy. Yeah. Heavy metal. <laughs> <laughs> That's so dumb. Oh, I love it. I love it so much. What? I'm oh, no. Well, I'm Luke Bill, and you're not my father. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, my He's God. Gone. Uh-oh! <gasps> Yo, this guy's in for, like, the beating of his life, man. You killed Ted, you medieval dickweed! <laughs> <laughs> oh! That's to just charge him! You hit him with a drumstick? That was a big drumstick! Dude, you're totally bowing that dude in the head! Yeah! He's a total bonehead! <laughs> <laughs> oh, God! How's, How's it going, going ladies? Hmm. <laughs> I am Ted of San Dimas. I bring to you a message of love. Whoa. Wow. 
From who? You beautiful babes from England, for whom we have traveled through time. Will you go to the prom with us in San Dimas? We will have a most triumphant time. Ah! Uh oh. Put them in the Iron Maiden. Iron Maiden? <laughs> Go do it. <laughs> oh. Oh, they took their uh, time machine. They have horns. They're devils. <laughs> <laughs> I believe our adventure through time has taken a most serious turn. Very serious indeed. Billy! There we go. <laughs> oh, he's, he's got a flail. Okay, I got one. Let's go. Where are we going now? Yeah, we're. we're... Whoa! They need one more, right? Sigmund Fred. How much time? Fred. Sigmund Fred. How's it going, Fred, dude? Fred, dude. Das muss ein Traum sein. Oh, nice. Oh, okay, let's go. We got him. We're going for beet oven. Beet oven's next, my guy. Beet oven. The beet oven is here. He's not gonna hear it. Hey, that was a lot easier. Yo, are they going for Genghis Khan next? No way. There's no way they're going. They're going to Mongolia! Hey, hey yo. yo. Wanna tweak you, Genghis Khan? <laughs> <laughs> they got him with a Twinkie. Hey, Twinkie is on to the Me White House. Whoa, they're really going for that extra credit, man. The antenna's broken! Oh, ah! <laughs> <laughs> We're here! We did it. Hey! That's us! Let's go talk to ourselves. Excellent. What'd we say anyways? 69, dudes! <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> Dave Veethoven and uh, <laughs> Maxine of Arc, Herman the Kid, Herman the Kid, Genghis Khan, <laughs> Dennis Frude, Dennis and uh, Fr uh, Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> well, it's nice to meet you all. The San Dimas Mall. <laughs> took them to the mall? Where people of today's world hang out. Buddy, get together, remember who your buddy is. They have a buddy they system. They have a buddy system. You ditched Napoleon? Deacon, oh. do you realize you have stranded one of Europe's greatest leaders in San Dimas? He was a dick. <laughs> Mind you. <laughs> he still has a little French flag thing on his chest. Sock Come on, buddy. <laughs> Women love sandals, it's true. Hi, I'm Billy. This here is Socrates. Socrates, we're from Socrates. history. Socrates, Socrates. <laughs> Hello, I'm Dr. Freud. No, not Freud too! Oh my God. Well, that went pretty bad. <laughs> oh. 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 A more durable weapon. Nice, an upgrade. Whoa! Oh shit, he's killing the mannequin! Oh shit! I need the Lincoln hat and the stupid beard back. Now, come on, mister! Hey, oh, I jumped shit. him! That's tasty, man. That's yeah. tasty. Whoa. Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, over here. Dude, that's nice as hell. 
That's tasty! Ooh! No, let him keep playing! To cut what? off the tasty jams. What are you gonna do now? Our historical figures are all locked up. My dad won't let them out. Can we get your dad's keys? He could steal them, but he lost them two days ago. Only we could go back in time to when he had them and steal them then. We could do it after the report. Ted, good thinking, dude. After the report, we'll time travel back to two days ago, steal your dad's keys, and leave them here. How about behind that sign? That no way. way. Now, they'll be waiting for us. See? <laughs> oh my god. No way. They're actually brilliant. What in the hell do you think you're doing? Trash can. Remember the trash can. Trash can. What are you talking about? Whoa! Get this thing off me, kid! Sorry, Dad! Where did it come from? I think Abraham Lincoln would be most impressed with the world of San Dimas. I know I am. <laughs> That's so corny. Oh that my was god. Such cornball uh, shit. My god. I know I am. No! Not an F! Hello, San Dimas. Please welcome. I'm Billy the Kid. Oh, oh, nice! Put your hands together. Uh, okay, okay. All right. The <laughs> guy in the middle looks so lost. Please welcome to tell us what he thinks of San Dimas. Socrates! They got it out of Yo, let's go! What are they doing up there? He also loves baseball. <laughs> <laughs> Anxieties about himself. And hence, his aggression transference onto Ted. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Sigmund Freud. Hmm? Nah, just got a minor Oedipal complex. <laughs> <laughs> Genghis Khan! <laughs> this is a dude who 700 years ago totally ravaged China. And who we are told two hours ago totally ravaged Oshman Sporting Good. <laughs> Miss Abart totally roused the English from France. And all this by the time she was 17. Nice. Water slide. The water slide. Beethoven. Oh, I got it. Mozart's Requiem, Handel's Messiah, and Bon Jovi's Slippery When Wet. <laughs> He loves San Dimas. <laughs> oh, man. Be excellent to each other. And. Oh. Oh. Party on, dude! There we go. There it is. Wait, they're just gonna teleport out of here? I guess so. That's one hell of an exit if they actually pull it off. Oh yeah, they're going. Oh my god. That's sick. Yeah, that's actually cool as hell. <laughs> Damn, dude, they killed it. Hello again, my excellent friends. Congratulations on passing Whoa. the history report. Babes, we looked all over England for you. Where'd you get the savory clothes? Savory? Hey, yo. How can we ever thank you, Rufus? Well, you can start by signing this for my kids. Why? They're big fans of yours. Whoa! Why? Wild Stallion's music has become the foundation of our whole society. No way! Yes way! In fact, I believe you were there. Eventually, your music will help put an end to war and poverty. What? It will align the planets and bring them into universal harmony. Allowing meaningful contact with all forms of life. What the? Why don't you have the ladies sign as well, would you please? After all, they are in the band. They are. It, we, we, what? Where are you going, Rufus? I got a surprise for you. No! No, 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 no. No. There's no way. Whoa! If I might be so honored to jam with you. <gasps> to jam? Rufus can jam? Oh. One, 
do get better. <laughs> <laughs> so we just finished watching Bill and Ted's excellent adventure and um, it was quite excellent indeed. This is a cinema masterpiece. It, it truly is. It, I, it, I, I genuinely love this movie. I did not expect to like it as much as I do. I didn't even know where it was going, honestly. No, not at all. And there were so many historical characters, like far more than I expected. I thought they might have just capped at three, maybe. No, man, they go for a whole platoon. That's the thing. I was thinking they're going to cap at like three to four as well. And No, nah, man. That, no, that no, was man. funny as hell, dude. I, oh. I'm just like, it was everything I didn't expect. I think that's the best part about it. I absolutely love Bill and Ted. It's just, they're just so such lovable characters i love that their interactions every time they go to a new time period their interactions is so stupidly funny you no know my favorite thing is what not once ever because whenever you watch time traveling movies they're like oh we gotta kind of disguise ourselves with how no. the modern fashion Bill is and they Ted, just walked in same bro, outfit everywhere they didn't give a shit man nah man bill and ted's like present who past who i was who? Like, present i was like hey yo man we ain't traveling to the present we nah, already man. here I, I love that. They just never tried to, like, get into uh, Other than armor, I, I, but... I just don't think they were smart yeah, enough to think I that know, through. I know. Whatsoever. And they still spoke the same way. They didn't give a shit. Yeah. Uh, that thing. was my favorite part, man. It was just like... Dude, it, it, I just don't even know how to express it. It was just a genuinely funny movie. I can't get over it. I absolutely... Like, Keanu Reeves killed it as Ted. I'm sorry. But every time you look at his face, you're like... He, he looks... And his haircut as well. Like... <laughs> Bro, he looks lost all the time. Like, Ted is completely lost. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I love that when, like, uh, when Freud, Freud was yeah. giving his entire, like, therapy session. He's just like, straight up saying that your dad's projecting on you because he's insecure and stuff. And he's, like, a failure in, in himself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's just like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I loved also uh, that Bill always, he's like, whoa, that's most bodacious like he had such like interesting he, vocabulary he, yeah he had a he he actually was most tranquil <laughs> <laughs> truly triumphant you know <laughs> it's like he was using big words for no reason and it's like he did, it was as if he had no idea what they meant that's the best part he's using them but it's just like does he even know what these things mean i love that so much all the time man oh my god they're they're, they're just such great characters i actually can't believe like I where, can't where's believe, this movie been all my life i can't believe we've never seen this movie until now i love it because so much. It's it, like, i'm gonna be honest it's probably one of my favorites uh, it's probably one of my top five comedies it's I, already thrown to the top five i've yeah. i have not laughed so hard in so long yeah there is i almost like i'm almost losing my voice because yeah, it I know. It's just so freaking it really hilarious, good. dude. I even just like uh, having a George Carlin play uh, Rufus. <laughs> I, I haven't seen George Carlin in so long. I was like, I was like, taken uh, aback a bit. I was like, oh right? my god. I uh, remember watching a lot of his like stand up and, th and stuff when I was younger, and I loved it, man. His stuff is so good. I was so happy to see him. I love him, man. And not only that, but the people who they got to play the historical figures were really great. Oh yeah, that was really. Uh, I don't know, man. They were pretty good too. I like how uh, Billy the Kid just. He took it really well. He, he he didn't mind time travel or anything like that. He's just like, all right, this is how it is. This is my life now. That's cool well, with me. To be honest, man, if I had to choose between the Wild West and the Mall, I'd probably dig the Mall a lot more. That is true, man. Yeah. The Wild West doesn't have tacos and shit like that, man. Slush as well. They don't ice got cream. slush. They don't got the ice water cream. slides. Waterloo water slide, bro. That was clever. The, that was so how, clever. How did I not pick up on that when he said I had the tickets to Waterloo? How did I not? The Bro, whole time. It, that that foreshadow was so... God, that was so good. It was I a, didn't pick up on it. It was such a solid payoff. Oh, my God. You know, who'd have thought Bill and Ted had that kind of, like, sophisticated, intelligent... Oh, I love that. That was I, such a good yeah, joke. Hot take. Perfect. I think Bill and Ted requires high intellect to enjoy. Yeah. You need the highest of intellect to enjoy yeah. such comedy, dude. It's far too smart. It's ahead of its time. Dude. That is it. It is true. And the thing is, it's aged very well. Yeah, actually, Even the it has. special effects ain't that bad. No, no not man. Too bad. Like it, They're a little silly looking here and there, but I love but it. But it fits the vibe. But yeah. I think it ages very well because it's a movie that doesn't take itself too seriously, right? Exactly. So it's just like. My third part as well. <laughs> he pays his little brother to watch Napoleon. Oh my God. I was so stupid. Napoleon becomes a Ziggy Piggy. As, yep. a Ziggy Piggy goes bully and. Oh, he's like, melt, melt, melt. he missed the footy at the gutter. Oh. Uh, that was the best part with Napoleons, because, like, we, we kind of have a, good, a decent grasp on French, so we kind of, like, 
understood Napoleon and even Joan of Arc and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, that was really great. But I don't know. I'll man. tell you one thing. I did not understand Genghis Khan. <laughs> That's the only one I didn't get. <laughs> um, probably... Oh, Socrates is well, Socrates. Socrates. I like that at the end they actually got all they got, their they names got all right. The names, even the B oven. They got B and Beethoven. B <laughs> oven. <laughs> <laughs> I just like how they're just butchering their names as they yeah. go along. <laughs> My God, it's just you know what the thing is. Usually mm. when you try to do time travel, it's very hard to work with. But I feel like with Bill and Ted, they they did it very well. Even the, like the the scene where they're in the. The police station, they're trying to get through, trying to sneak past his, oh father, my his father. Oh, my God. The, the way they're just like, oh, we're just going to get the keys. Oh, we're just going to get a radio. Oh, we're just going to, like, fax ourselves a little message to each other. <laughs> yeah. And we're also going to get just a garbage can. It's it just like they were, like, they're so stupid, yet they're so brilliant. They're, like... I, I like that play on time travels. Like, yo, we got to remember to do have this stuff set up for this yeah, for specific like, for moment. Yeah, for this specific time and everything and whatnot. I, that was so good, man. I absolutely loved that. <laughs> it's just a good movie. Like, I don't even know what more to say. I feel like... Like, all, all I'm going to do is just, like... The, the, I'll be honest. The only one thing that bothered me is the spelling for Wild Stallions. That got me, man. Dude. Hey, you're just, dude, you're just they jealous, man. Spelled wild you, with a Y, and stallion is L-Y. You know, it's about being unique, my dude. True. You have to do it. You have True. to put them, You add Ys instead of Is, oh, things become cooler. My favorite joke, put him in the Iron Maiden. Excellent! <laughs> <laughs> Bro, as soon as he said it, I was like, oh my yeah. god, that's yeah. so good. I don't know, man. The movie... Oh, you if know, we're talking about great things, the soundtrack? Oh, bro. 10 out of 10. Bro, that soundtrack. That, that soundtrack was banging. It's my type of music. That's the kind mm -hmm. of music I mm -hmm. jam to. I love it so Dude, much. I was feeling it. When they had that montage of them getting arrested, it, whatever Beethoven was... The, like, oh! That music, I was like, oh, I was like, oh, oh God! I was like, this cat's gonna spell on me! Jeez! Oh! Beethoven's a wizard! Oh! Keyboard wizard, that is. I liked that a lot, man. I liked it, too. Also, I want... Oh, man, I was about to say something I completely forgot, man, because you went on the keyboard wizard Beethoven, man. <laughs> like, what was it? Oh, I liked when they were, like, reenacting Star Wars and medieval times. Oh, That was so... I, no, when they're in the streets and they're like, heavy metal, bro. That <laughs> shit was... That should be illegal. Who the... Who the hell came up with that, man? My God! Just, they had such great jokes. Yo, man, this armor is heavy. Heavy metal. <laughs> Oh, but it's so God. good. I love the joke so much. I'd say, I guess. Bill and Ted is a 10 out of 10. If you don't like Bill and Ted, I don't like you. You're not a good person. Nope. All right. You're just that's, not. I think that's, in terms of morality, you got to ask the person. If you, if you want to know if they're evil, you got to say, do you like Bill and Ted? If they say no, evil. Cut your ties. They ain't worth it. Get rid of them. They're losers. Big losers. Big losers. I don't got much else to say, man. I love this movie. Cinema masterpiece, guys. That's it. Truly. It's truly a masterpiece in cinema. Yep. And I, I know they have a sequel, and then they did a recent one as well. Recently, Are, brand new one. Were they well received? Are they good? I would love to watch them. I I, you to. know what? I'll, I'll look into it. We'll look into we'll look it, man. If they got really good reviews, we'll watch them. If they didn't, I will not tarnish the name of Bill and Ted. We probably might just still watch them. Probably still watch them. Yeah. But on that note... Stay excellent. Be Party on, dudes!